بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا چینل مائی نیم از آسم امجد ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی اسٹارٹ ڈسکسنگ دا مکینکس آف مٹیریل لیب یوز ان سالڈ ورک سمولیشن ان دا فرسٹ ٹیٹوریل آف دس سمولیشن لیکچر وی فرسٹ ڈسکس دا اسٹریس دا فارمل ڈیفینیشن آف اسٹریس از اور یو کین سے دا اسٹریس کین بی ڈیفائن ایز these are the quantities to describe the intensity of force in a body either solid or a fluid and the unit is force per unit area that is newton per meter square in si and it is a position dependent quantity actually so you can imagine that your arms are pulled by your friends with two forces of the same magnitude but opposite directions so what are the stresses in your arms okay so now we are assuming that the magnitude of the force is 100 newton and the cross sectional area of your arm is 100 cm square then you may answer that the stresses are 1 newton per centimeter square everywhere in my arms so it's a good answer enough but this is a very simple case so for one dimensional case like this the stress may easily be defined as sigma is equal to p over a where p is the applied force and a is the cross sectional area okay now in this Uh, video lecture we are considering a cantilever beam that is actually made of an alloy steel and of dimension 10 mm times 20 mm times 100 mm and the cantilever beam is fixed at the one end and it is subjected to the force on the other end the force is in positive x direction and has a magnitude of 10000 newton Okay let's start our first tutorial of mechanics of material lab lecture series part 1 in the part 1 at the start we first start up and create the geometric model in that case you have to first launch the solid works and then you have to create a new part so simply open the solid works and then move to the user interface and click this button that is new and then you will see a new solidworks document window is pop up and by default part is selected then simply click okay now at the start you have to first set up the unit option and for setting up the unit option click this button and click options and then you see system options window is pop up and here you click the document properties under document properties click the units and under the units button click the unit system that is millimeter gram second and change its decimal value to none and then simply click okay you can also do the same thing by clicking over there and select this option okay now we have to create a geometric model for the creation of the geometric model simply move to the feature tree on the left of the user interface right plane and from the mouse right click click the right plane and then select the sketch so in the sketch tool bar click this rectangle and you will see a rectangle type sketch is open and now move to the working drawing environment or the working area of the solid works and draw a freely rectangle and now do as directed and simply click the escape key click the line of the rectangle right click and select midpoint 
press the control key and select this point and add relation vertical and do the same thing for the other vertical side like this and made horizontal relationship after adding the relationship move to the smart dimension toolbar and apply the dimension the height of the cantilever beam is 20 millimeter and the width of the cantilever beam is 10 millimeter and then move to the features tab and click the extrude most base option and under the extrude boss base option specify the length of the cantilever beam that is 100 and then simply click ok in the standard view toolbar click trimeter and then click zoom to fit ok now we are moving to the second part of the tutorial and here we start discussing the load and setup SOLIDWORKS simulation so at start first load the SOLIDWORKS simulation for that simply move to the SOLIDWORKS add-in and click this simulation button and then you will see simulation tab is added here if this tab is already present there then there is no need to click this button you can also load the SOLIDWORKS simulation another way and that is you have to move to the tools and then select add-ins and under the add-ins window click the SOLIDWORKS simulation chat board and make sure you also click this chat board this chat box is actually indicate that whenever you close the SOLIDWORKS and open the SOLIDWORKS next time then simulation tab is already added there so no need to repeat these steps again and again if you click this step and then simply click OK OK now move to the simulation tab and under the new study tab click new study and you will see under the feature manager tree the study is open and by default static structure study is selected now you have to change the name of this static one to elongation and then click ok so a new tab with the study name is added and becomes active so a study tree appears right below the part tree now we are going to set up the options for SOLIDWORKS simulation in for that you have to simply move to the simulations under the simulation click options and then you will see our default system options window is pop up and then move to the default options and under the default options you have to select the units and then select the unit system SI and then select the length of displacement as millimeter and change the pressure stress as Newton per millimeter square megapascal and then move to the default plot heading and click the plot one and under the plot one make sure the nodal stresses is selected and the stress values will be reported as the nodes rather than the elements and then make sure by default under plot 1 reports as one 
Mrs. Stresses, and this option should be checked here under these list of options. Then move to the plot two and select the displacement under the result type and select the resultant displacement under the resultant component. Then move to the plot three and under plot three select nodal strain under the results type and under result component stress equivalent strain and then simply click ok but make sure the option setup in this window will be permanent unless you change them again and I am assume that these setup throughout the tutorial series specifically made sure stresses and strains are reported as nodes at plot 1 and plot 3 and then simply click OK. OK now we are going to apply the material sports and load. For applying the material move to part 1 in your case and here the part 2 right click and click the apply edit material and under apply edit material select alloy steel and then click apply and then simply click close and make sure the elastic modulus by zone ratio and the shear modulus are the three most important materials properties in the course of mechanics of material now move to the fixtures and in the study tree right click the fixture and select the fixture geometry and under fixture geometry click this face and this is the fifth phase of our cantilever beam study and then simply click ok so here you will see a fixture spot is added to the study tree under fixtures. Now we are going to apply the load. For applying the load simply click internal load, right click and click the force. Under the force click this side of our cantilever beam and click the reverse direction and add the force 10,000 Newton and here you will see the phase 1 is selected and then simply click OK. Now click run this study and it will take a few seconds to run our simulated model and here you will see the result. As mentioned earlier by default the result for one messy stresses resultant displacement and equivalent stresses are created note that the stress one is highlighted mean this is active and display in the graphic area so by default one mass stresses is display well change to display the sigma s later on even you follow the exactly same step in this tutorial your result may deviate from the result in this tutorial it is normal as long as the deviation is not too large. So the stress is uniform over the entire body except the area under the feet and where the stresses are completed and we will explain this phenomena in later on video series. So let's neglect these stress values here for now. And we will turn off the display of internal load and fixtures in the next section of the video. So for that simply right click to the stress 1 and click edit definition. Under the edit definition window select X normal stresses here and then uncheck this deform shape and then simply click OK. You can also deform the shape result by clicking here to uncheck the deform results and now click this fit force right click and click hide and click this force 
and right click and click hide. So the legend colors the normal stress sigma x is approximately uh, somewhere around here like 50 megapascal. So let's probe to obtain the more precise values for that simply click the right click under the stress one and click probe and then click here let's say here and here and here you will see the normal stress values at different probe value or the node value are 50.257 newton per milliliter squares metapastel here you will see 49.991 and here you will see 49.989 so on average you can say 50 metapastel stress is applied over there you can also view the other stress component so for viewing the other stress component simply move to the stress one and then click right click and click the edit definition and under the edit definition window check this option that is shear in y direction or yz plane and then simply click ok and here again move to the stress one option right click and click probe and click here here or here and here you will see approximately zero shear stress force is acting over there so you can continue this step to find the result of all the quantities like normal stress in the x direction normal stress in the y direction normal stress in the z direction shear stress in y in y z plane or in z on the y z plane in z or on the x z plane so then you come up that the normal stress that is acted over there is 50 megapascal in the x direction and the normal stress in acting over y z direction is zero and the shear stress is s y y z or x z direction is also zero and after the completion of these result values simply save the document and exit the solid web so for saving the document click this save button and save the document with the name as twenty lever beam and click save and after seeing this message simply click yes and this will actually save the elongation.cwr file and the former is the main project file while the later store the result data generated by finite element solver other files if any are not relevant they can be deleted or from file pull down menu simply delete exit and the solid word will be closed so this concludes our tutorial number one thank you